These are what? You gotta be careful. Be careful. Andrew Shaw. Uh, reduced pressure zone backflow preventers. Yeah, RPZs. Reduced pressure zone backflow preventers. Are they backflow preventers? Yes, but you never ever want to say backflow preventers. How do you know they reduce pressure zones? Well, there's a dead giveaway on the picture, and it's actually the relief valve right in the middle. If these were just what we call double check valves, this wouldn't be here. And these two checks would be married together. But when it has this discharge reduced pressure zone, if you have a backflow situation, everything's going to dump to a drain with an air gap. And again, these are important pieces. Not only do you recognize them, where are they necessary? Where should I be using RPZs? If I'm going to use an RPZ, a reduced pressure zone backflow preventer, what is one important feature before I install this on any job site, whether it's a big one like this or it's a half inch one or three quarter or one inch? What must a plumber know before he or she installs an RPZ? You cannot install one of these devices until they are approved by the DEP. You will have to supply a design data sheet, supply a whole bunch of information, and once they're approved by the DEP, the Department of Environmental Protection, or their designee, which is typically somebody from the water department in any city or town in the Commonwealth, you can't just go and apply for a permit for one of these, for an RPZ or a double check valve you must get the approval from the DEP or their designee before you apply for a permit. Now, some of you going, well, the architect or an engineer will do that. No, they won't. Not for half inch ones and three quarter ones and one inch ones that you're putting on little kind of commercial applications or even somebody's house when they can't put a pressure vacuum breaker for the irrigation system and you're gonna do an RPZ. Got to get approved by the DEP because they need to be serial numbered and tested twice a year. These are all things you should know. Any of you ever worked on any RPZs with anybody, especially some this big? Evan Fairbanks has. It's like if you've ever taken apart a car engine, it's kind of like that. There's some pretty hefty springs inside there. By looking at it, you're supposed to know as a plumber what it is just by looking at it. Snap of the fingers, boom, you know what it is. 